Shrimpo! Um, this is a little Shrimpo one here back with a video and today it is a tutorial video. Now, only one of you, pe none of you really asked for this, but I have been getting a question about this certain mod pack that this person's having trouble with. And I do want to help them. But, and I wanted to help him on Skydaz or whatever this place is called, but I could not find the mod pack he was looking for. So, instead I'm just going to show you how to get the Technic Launcher, and then how to get mod packs on the Technic Launcher. So let's begin. First thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to register. Now I'm not actually going to show you like all my email and stuff. So you guys can do that yourself. Just, you know, put your email, username, and username, I believe, can be your Minecraft name. So just put, like, in my case, yeah, just put your Minecraft name, and then your password, and then you can create the account. And remember to select that I'm not a robot. And then once you register, you can get the launcher. So you just press this. And it'll just pretty much tell you how to download everything. From here, I can't really show you anything because I do not want to re-download the launcher. It takes a long time, but trust me, it's worth it because you get you get access to a ton of mod packs. And then after you get the launcher, and you launch, obviously launch it, you'll get this. So first, I'll start you on this page. And by the looks of it, the new uh, mod pack is Blightfall. Uh, I've actually heard of that. You know, you got your news. And now, before you actually get the launch of this, it will ask for all your Minecraft username and uh, password and all that good stuff. Or it's either the passwords and stuff you made on this site. Or it's the passwords and stuff that you made in Minecraft. It's one of those. But just try both of those before you start asking questions. Uh, but anyway, if you go to Mod Packs, you see this is the specific Mod Pack that he wants. Now there are two ways you can get Mod Packs on the, uh, on the launcher. And we shall bring this up. There are a few ways you can get mod packs on the launcher. You can either put the name of it, so just put like a keyword tyrants. And see, as you can tell, tyrants and plebeians. But I already have it, so it won't let me like access it or anything. Or it'll let you put the address. Now this is something that people always get confused about. They think that this is like an address to... Wait. Let me get there. So this is the address, obviously, to just the, uh, the not the TechNet launcher, but just the TechNet website that tells you about the mod pack. Uh, now, it says here, copy platform URL. A lot of people get confused about what this means. They think that if they just put this into the computer, it'll work, but that's not how it works. You gotta copy it, which I believe it already did, but whatever. You copy this, and what you can do is that once you get the TechNet download everything all that good stuff you can put uh this wait why can't I just do that? oh there we go I just had to control V and as you can see this is the web address for tyrants and plebeians so as the main thing that people always get confused about and it's that uh the uh this web address that you get from the mod pack website is really for uh is really for the launcher, not for actual internet use. I just want to make sure this is recording. Oh, good. Anyway, that's pretty much how it works. So after that, I can show you how to install stuff. So let's X out this because we don't need it anymore. So, oop. I keep getting that in my mind. Um, it's annoying me. So as you can tell, on mod packs that I haven't gone, it will say install. And then you just click install, and it will install the mod pack for you. Now installing mod packs might take a while. For instance, this one took about eh, a half hour to an hour. And 
as for other ones, I haven't actually tried because I really used uh, the technical launcher for game this. But that is pretty much how it works. You install it, and then once you install it, you can you can give all the mod pack options. So if we go into here, you know it says install folder that, and then using the recommended release versions, I can't change that. That looks like it's, and then let's say you have a glitch in your mod pack and you want to get it fixed. Well, you could go to the extreme way and delete it, but what I would suggest first is to reinstall it. And if it doesn't work, just delete the mod pack and then reinstall the mod pack. But, you know, there you go, reinstall mod pack there. And then launcher options. So, the, I usually don't mess with this stuff. This stuff I kind of just keep to its own self. Java Sings is a big one, okay? Because this kind of depicts how much lag you'll get on a server. Not on a server, because server lag is its own thing. That's the server's problem. But, um, just your lag is obviously your thing. So you're going to want to switch it to your, uh, your version of Java. In this case, I have, I'm using 1.7.064 bit. The reason I'm using that is because this is a 1.7.0 mod pack. Then I want to put the memory to... In this case, I have it to the highest I can have. Pretty much what memory means in this is RAM. So it gives it, this tells you how much RAM goes to your game. My computer gives 4 gigabytes worth of RAM, so I put it at 3.5. Now, I know you guys think that's crazy, you want to save your gigabytes, but when I play Minecraft, I usually do it with just that. I don't go on the internet or anything to look stuff up, which, because, you know, the internet also uses RAM. So it can look things up. But also, you guys are probably thinking I'm crazy because you are saying you should save your RAM. You don't want to use it all. Well, I barely actually go on here anymore. Or actually, that's a lot. I usually go on here once a week. But uh, yeah, there you go. But I just have a 3.5 because I want to have a smooth experience. If you have it on one of these, you got problems. Now, there was also another thing I found that was a problem while downloading this mod pack. I noticed that it wouldn't actually let me download. Halfway through the download, it would, or uh, installation, it would say error and download, and it would just stop everything. Which would piss me off, because I'll be honest with you, I had taken so long to download. So, to fix that problem, what I had to do is I had to set it to the lowest amount of RAM on my launcher options. So, I had to set it to five, 512 megabytes. And then when I download it, it worked perfectly, which was kind of weird. I don't know how that happened, but there you go. And then from there, I just switched it back to 3.5. And then from here, it says, As I, I don't really care. I don't know what that does, <laughs> to be honest with you. About, this is just about the uh, company itself. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this little mini tutorial. If... You, if you want to see more videos like this, just uh, hit that, slap that like button, and please subscribe and share my videos for more content.